Yes! I can't believe we're getting a movie based on the original Teen Titan series. What was that? Oh god. Oh please no. No! What's up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. I went against everything I believed in today and saw Teen Titans go to the movies. This is directed by somebody and starring the original Teen Titans voice cast. Now, I loved, if you can tell from that intro, I loved the original 2004 television show. I thought it was awesome, had great amounts of tension, just enough comedy, but not too much to where it overshadowed the drama and the plot and the story and what made the series good. And then they shifted on in over to the Teen Titans Go series, and I just I'm not a fan of that series, guys, and I'm not going to lie to you and say that I am. I really, I despise it. I have seen a couple of things. There are minor things that I have seen, and I'm like, okay, that's creative, and I like it when they're very self-aware, and they do things that are referential, and they call out other things in the DC, and even the Marvel Universe, I enjoy that aspect of the show. And there is one episode where they call back the original Teen Titans show that I have seen, and I'm like, you know what, that was... Fairly well done compared to the rest of it, but the whole show in general, it's just, it's always frustrated me. And I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I've seen every episode of every season, because I haven't, but I've watched just enough to where I, I don't want to watch anymore. So I had to get that out of the way, that way everybody who loves that show, you guys can just scatter and flee. Oh, wait, actually, you know what, I don't know if I would do that, because I'm talking about the show, the movie is a little bit different because there are actually some things that I really enjoyed about this film. If you guys don't know how my reviews work, I like to talk about the good, the bad, and then give you my score. As soon as I record this and hopefully upload it, I'm going to see Mission Impossible Fallout with a very special guest. So be on the lookout for that review coming out later tonight as well. But right now we're talking Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Let's talk about it. All right, so we're talking about the good, and I expected this movie to not really have a lot of that in it for it to be annoying and just kind of like, oh, I don't want to be here anymore, and that really wasn't the case. This movie does a lot of things that I really like, and it really pulls out the best aspects of the show. The first thing is it's so just self-aware. It's aware that it's a movie within a movie, making a movie about a movie. There's so many, so many layers. And just it calls out the rest of the universe, and that's what I love. It talks about the Wonder Woman movie, Green Lantern, Superman, there are so many things that it just it just makes those jokes about. Now, yes, it appeals to kids. And a lot of the kids' jokes, they just they didn't go over my head. I just I wasn't really having it because I'm not a big fan of the fart jokes and the potty humor, whatever. The kids were laughing, that's all that matters. But it did have things in there for adults. A lot of self-referential humor. And it called back former and future DC properties, and I thought that was really cool. There's a Batman v Superman bit in there that I thought was hilarious. There are even things in the background. There's a lot of attention to detail in this movie. One example is they're doing the whole thing where all the characters are making their own movies in the background and really far back there you can see Green Lantern standing in front of a green screen and since the entire Green Lantern movie was green screen, I found that one just tidbit of information that was so funny to me and things like that in this film, and I'm sure they do in the show sometimes, but not really. It really worked in this movie. And they don't just do callbacks to comic book movies, they do callbacks to all kinds of movies. There's a Back to the Future bit and they actually got the music music, which I thought was really cool. They do references to musical. I'm not going to tell you who is in this film, but there is a singer who makes an appearance in one of the songs and he even plays a character in the movie. I'm like, as soon as I heard the voice, I'm like, that's who that is. I'm not going to tell you guys, but I thought it worked so well. And the song is actually very catchy. I didn't love the music videos in this movie, but that song in particular, it had an everything is awesome feel to it. I really enjoyed that. I'm telling you guys, I just noticed the subtle things, like even the hints and references to Young Justice and other shows and the future of the DC streaming television thing. They had a lot of shout outs to that, which could be, you know, they're making their cake and eating it too, but they had some fun with it. They had fun making this movie. It's very, very much for kids, but if if you're an adult taking your kid and you hate the television show, as I do, I wasn't taking my kid, I was actually by myself in the theater with a bunch of kids. That was kind of awkward, but you know. As well as the random actors, actresses, and even singers that voice the characters of Superman and Green Lantern. You've got Nicolas Cage playing Superman. You guys don't know the backstory of that. Check out The Death of Superman Lives, John Schnepp's documentary, Rest in Peace, My Good Fella. But uh, so many things like that in this movie, just subtle things that I didn't expect to... Listen, I was dreading watching this film. And I came out like, okay, I'm kind of glad I watched it.
Now I got all of the good things out of the way. I, I was just so excited to talk about them because I didn't expect them to happen. This still has those elements of Teen Titans Go that I do not like. It has a lot of the music videos and just so many jokes for kids, so many jokes for kids, and the silly little puns, and I don't know what happened to Beast Boy, and I know I'm comparing this to the original series, but why is he like, yo, and what's up, and why, why does he, why is he talking like that? That, that's, that's not, that's not Beast Boy. I can't sit here and hate on that fact and make it a flaw with the film. That's just something personal. It's like, why do you gotta change the way he talks? The story is very predictable. In the second half, it kind of falls apart. You know exactly where it's going. Of course, they tell you, hey, we knew where it was going, but you do know where it's going, and that still doesn't excuse the fact that it was super duper just like, okay, you had to do that in the third act. The story itself is an interesting concept. Robin wants a movie, and all of the jokes and the pop culture references that you get from that is great, but where where it goes and the script and a lot of the dialogue, it didn't really work for me and I wasn't a big fan of the way that they handled the villains. I'm just like, eh, I know it's a kid's movie and it's hard to judge these things, but you had something so smart with the concept itself and you did way better than the show has ever handled it. Let's, uh, let's step up this third act and step up what they do with the villain, eh? I just like parts of the first half way more than the second half and that's not saying that it's going to ruin the movie for you. It's just not a movie that's necessarily for me. I got a lot out of the references and how self-aware it was, but it's just something that I could say. If you don't have a kid, there's no point of you going and watching this in a theater, even though it is, say, a Deadpool for kids. There are even Deadpool references in there, which I enjoyed. <laughs> So I will end with this because this review is long enough already. This is a movie that I did not expect to be good and it actually ended up being a pretty fine, fun little flick, especially if you have kids. If you are a kid or you are younger and especially if you like Teen Titans Go, you are going to love this movie. It is going to astound you. For a guy that did not like the original series who goes into this movie with low expectations, even though it's got a high Rotten Tomatoes score, I have to say I was way more impressed than I expected to be and that's why why I'm going to give Teen Titans Go to the movies a 62%. That is fresh if you follow Rotten Tomatoes, which you probably do if you saw the score for Teen Titans Go, which is abnormally high, but I can see why it's so high. I don't really see how people are going to be ecstatic over this film, but I can see how most people are going to enjoy it just because it knows what it is, it has a consistent tone, and it's pretty much a Deadpool for kids. So you know what? It's a fun little time at the theater. So that's my review for Teen Titans Go. Like I said, Mission possible fallout coming later on this evening. You guys are the absolute best and I will catch you later.